Times Square is the crossroads of the world. It's also home to a science experiment. We're doing releases of particles and gases to try and understand how they move throughout the transit system and outdoors. These scientists and chemists from the Department of Homeland Security, MIT and other national labs are finding out how these materials travel through urban environments. In case there is, you know, a fire and there's smoke, understanding where that goes, you know, if there's a gas leak, understanding that. What they take into account is how skyscrapers impact the speed and direction of wind. We want to understand how long it takes for an air pollutant that might pass from one side of the, of, of the city to the other side of the city. They're also seeing how the materials travel underground into the subway system and vice versa. They're conducting the same experiment below ground. Material will not stay in the subway. It will come above ground. So where is that material traveling? What's being released is non-toxic, but this is to equip the city with the right tools to respond to a situation that's hazardous, whether unintentional or intentional. The study that we're doing is really to uh, collect information that the Department of Homeland Security will provide to New York City authorities and agencies to help them better prepare for their emergency planning. It may also help in setting policies for agencies. About 2,000 samples are expected to be collected.